having this degree um, is being able to use um, these skills that we've learned and developed to help people in need. Emmeline has spinal muscular atrophy, type 1. Um, she was diagnosed around 11 weeks old. Kind of in passing, Jenny mentioned, wouldn't it be cool if you know someone could design a lightweight, kind of low-cost mobility device for kids like Emily? Our current senior design project was to create a mobility aid for a two-year-old named Emmeline Pope. We knew we had something special on this project the first time we visited the family and discovered uh, the challenges that Emmeline was going through living her day and, and the challenges the family was going through. So in terms of the technical aspects of the chair, it's actually pretty easy to understand. We took a lightweight frame and then we simply uh, put on two uh, motors that directly drive uh, two powered wheels in the back and then we gave the user a joystick control in the front and then a parent override in the back. We basically had created a device that using one little switch that was next to that joystick, Emmeline's mom could determine who had control of the chair, which we thought was important because that allows Emmeline to have a good sense of independence in this chair, but it also means that her mom can really control the situation and make sure this two-year-old isn't just running wild on some amazing contraption. It's really nice to be able to take some of the knowledge um, that we've learned in the classroom and actually apply it to a real-world situation and, and use it to make a difference. I'm just really thankful for the opportunity to have done this project. Uh, the, the Popes were a great family to work with every time we've had the opportunity to interact with Emmeline. She's just brought joy to uh, everyone on our team. It's joyful to see, um, to see the difference that we've been able to, to make in, in their life and kind of see it all come together. It is very rewarding to uh, make something that works and make something that works well and that has a positive impact on someone. This is the goal that we set out with and this is kind of the image that we've had in our head that motivated us through the harder times so it's very rewarding to see all this come to fruition. You get to see the impact that an individual, let alone an engineer, can have on his community and you get to see the way that a quality product could really change a life. You know it's obvious that they it was more than just a design project for them. They, they wanted to do their best work for Emily. I also know a lot of the students have a lot of hope for doing something like this with their future. That they see their degree and their experience um, at Baylor and that they really will be able to create things to make the world better. Mm -hmm.